Uh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, just came in here, I mean, just, just taking advantage of the opportunities I get, making the best out of it. Coach Elliott said you made a side adjustment on a block, and that's what he wants to see for you to get more playing time. How hard have you been working on that? Oh, I, I, I've been putting a lot of time in that, just, just working on my block, and I mean, running. I'm, I'm a runner, but I came here to run. I knew I had that and run, but being able to block, that's where is where I need to work on and get be get better at because at the end of the day, the quarterback is the face of the team. I have to protect him to, to get those drives and make those throws and just working on that, just pro propel me in a, level, in a way I need to know. What does it say about the coach's belief in you already as a freshman when it's fourth quarter and it's a tight ball game and they need someone that can make a play and here comes a true freshman in there and just explodes? What does it say about their confidence in you? Uh, it says a lot, uh, just all the hard work that we've been putting in since I've been here and uh, every morning we all put in the hard work and uh, just the coaches are trusting in me. I mean, that's what I came here for. Just uh, from day one, Coach Sweeney and Coach Ed, I felt they trusted in me to come in here and make big plays. And them trusting in me just just boosts my confidence. I mean, just knowing that they got my back, it just, just helped me go out there and play. How did it feel to do it here in front of the home crowd and break off that 50 yard run and hear, just hear the crowd in the line? Oh, it felt great. I mean, it felt great. Uh, best experience yet I had so far. I mean, just going out there and being able to make big plays for my, for my team when we need them and just being able to just do that. I mean, Coach, Coach Elliott put me in the right spot to do that. You had, the, for him. you had the 50 yarder, but how bad did you want that last one? Were you begging for it, that last touchdown? Uh, well, that one, I mean, uh, the, the run before that, I, I, I could have scored and I kind of, I kind of got down on myself because I didn't. And I mean, we went right back and coach called a run play. There's no way I wanted to be denied on that one. So I just had to get in. What about the spin? You said earlier this week that you need to make the most of your opportunities. What more can you do with the opportunities you've had? Do mean, you feel like you've, you've proven yourself now at this point in the season? Uh, no, sir, not yet. And I mean, there's, I, there's a lot of plays where. I could have done more. I, I could have got the extra yard. I could have just did something more. And just me getting, just me getting uh, practicing every week and getting better, and just working on little things with the family situation. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm getting there, working hard every week. Is the spin move something you practiced? That the last one had a nice little spin move in here. Is that something that that you've done somewhere else down the line? That you kind of pulled it out in this game. Yes, <laughs> uh, sir. Uh, some some uh, Elliott, uh, He worked on this for that. Every once in a while, he'll make us do like three spin moves. So just transferring things for practice over into the game. Somebody had asked me on Twitter, do you have a nickname that you prefer? Do you ever have one that you like? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> they, they suggested with you and Tavian, TNT, Travis and Tavian. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that, that's pretty cool, but I mean, we can't forget about uh, Adam and CJ. Tavian says you don't have to loosen it on the defense for all the runs that you've had. So you're, you're deferring credit to him for all these, right? Oh, of course, of course, him, CJ, and Adam. I mean, first first quarter, they went out there. I mean, when you come into games, a little bit of game between the trenches, and they just going out there and just pounding and pounding and pounding, and them getting the defense tied and just letting me go in there and be fresh. And I mean, with them wearing them down, I, I kind of get to go in there kind of fresh. And I mean, they just kind of open up things for me. You talked about it following the Kent State game, the camaraderie between you guys, and it's easy to see that you four have that right now. I'm sorry about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really great, and I love that. I love that we have that. Uh, nobody's jealous. We all, we all just help each other get better in our game. And I mean, they come like sometimes they ask me like, "What do they need?" Like, like when I'm just hitting the hole, they ask me something. I mean, I go and help a lot, a lot more than they come to me, just on blocking uh, stuff like that. But I mean, just all of us, we really. Building the brotherhood, and I, I just love that about the running back group. Do you feel like you're going to score every time you touch the ball? It's what it looks like to us. That you, you look like you have a chance to go the distance every time. Well, that, that, that's my mindset going into the game. Every time I get the ball, I score. But I mean, I, I can't get focused. I can't just get carried away with trying to hit the big play every time. I mean, it's, it's not it's not always about the big play. Maybe I might just go in there and get one yard for the team. I just have to be. I had to be aware of the uh, down and distance to just do it best for the team. On that last touchdown run, it looked like you kind of were looking to deliver a little bit of contact before you hit the afterburners and went in. But you, you kind of were, have been pegged as this big play guy, but you don't mind delivering a few hits here and there too. Uh, no, sir, football, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. 
and sometimes you might have to sh sh show a little something that you you are uh, able to just take a take a blow or give a blow to a defender and just be able to rail around by it. Coach Elliott also said there was a play where you kind of noticed that um, pressure was going to be coming from one side. You adjusted before uh, before the snap, made a good block. You feel like that's probably going to be the one he wants to talk to you about the most, and and uh, like, will be the happiest about that more than the, the long run. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, just me uh, being able to go in there, being a freshman, being able to go in there and just 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 being able to process the whole game. I mean, it's, it's really going fast, and, and just being able to see that that's coming and. Just to recognize what's going on. I mean, hats off to Coach Elliott. I mean, we watch a lot of film, and he he really instills that in us. Just knowing what you have to do, and I mean, it's it's no way that I could I could have done that without him. He just he, he just he just prepares in the right way. And I mean, thankful thankful that he's my coach. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.